is going on everyone, it's Brad Adeem the Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Borderlands the pre-sequel video. I'm going to be showing you guys a modding tutorial on how to use the Gibbet save editor that came out a few days ago for the Xbox 360 version of Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now if you're going to watch this video through and through, make sure to do it on 720p HD so that you can see everything clearly. And also, if you're doing this, you're going to need a few programs here, one of which is Horizon, and the other of which is the actual save editor. You're also going to need a program such as WinRAR that allows you to extract this RAR file that has the save editor within it. To know if you have one of these programs already installed on your computer, you can right click it. If it gives you an option to extract it, then you do. If you don't have that option, then I'll put a link down below along with these two other programs as well as to WinRAR, which is what I use, that will allow you to extract this file to get to the save editor. Once you have all those three things downloaded, also keep in mind that you're going to need either one, a transfer cable that can plug your hard drive into your computer so that you can get your game save off of it, or two, a USB flash drive that is is configured with your Xbox 360 in which you can put your game save onto for Borderlands a pre-sequel that you want to mod and that you can then plug into your computer. Once you have your storage device of choice plugged into your computer and all these programs downloaded, you're going to want to install Horizon, at which point you can get rid of this icon if you want. It's just to install it. And you should also have WinRAR installed by now or a similar program you may have already had installed in your computer. And you're just going to want to choose to extract to save edit underscore R7, which is just the name of the file here and you'll have this folder now you can get rid of the RAR file at this point now you guys are going to want to go and open up Horizon at this point make sure that you right click it and you choose to run it as an administrator if it gives you the option if you do not do that then Horizon will not recognize your storage device whether it be your hard drive or your USB flash drive go ahead into Horizon and click on device explorer on the right if it doesn't automatically pop up on its own go to the games folder scroll down and look for Borderlands the pre-sequel and then find your game save of choice and what you guys are going to want to do is this is what I normally do I guess you don't necessarily have to make a backup of the whole game save file but what I do is I will drag the game save over to my desktop and then I will go ahead and make a backup folder and we'll just call it backup and we'll go ahead and put that in there now we're not going to be modifying that actual file, but I still like to make it as a backup so I can easily put it back if anything gets messed up. Because what we are going to be doing is dragging that same file into Horizon, going to the Contents tab, and this file right here is what we're going to be modifying. So go ahead and extract that to your desktop by right clicking it and go ahead and put it there now we're also going to want to make up a, a backup of this definitely because it is the file we're modifying so go ahead and put it in the same folder as we just put our game save so there we go we have the full game save file and then the file within it that we're going to be modding and that is our backup folder go ahead and keep all this here and just minimize horizon and then go ahead into the save editor folder and double click on the program and just choose to run it you do not need to run that as an administrator it may take a second here to load there we go now, when we're opening up the Xbox 360 save file, we need to make sure that we have it set to Xbox 360. A lot of people run into errors with this very simple thing, and they do not realize that there's a drop-down option here to choose what type of file you're, you're uh, loading. So if we're loading an Xbox 360 file, we will of course want to make sure it's set to Xbox 360. And when we open it up, we will have no issues. Now, I already have a video going over all of the stuff within this program, so I'm not going to go too in-depth with uh, changes I'm going to make here. I'll just do some basic changes, and I'll put a link in the description below to the video doing my overview of all this. And, of course, in the future, I'll have many videos showing you guys how to do more in-depth stuff with this program so that you can utilize everything, such as within the RAW tab, all this confusing stuff that you guys uh, may not understand, and on also creating weapons, items, pasting codes, stuff like that. But I'll go ahead and make some basic changes here and uh, just do some random skin changes for my vehicles go ahead and max out my currency and same thing with moonstones and then we'll just kinda leave it at that once you've made all the changes you want though go ahead and just click on save and choose the file on your desktop not the one in your backup folder go ahead and click on save once you've done that it'll ask you if you want to replace it choose yes and if you want to make sure that it worked, go ahead, uh, go ahead and click on new in the program and then click open again and choose the same file that you just saved over. And if all the changes you made in the program are still there like they are for me, then you know that it's stuck and you're good to go. What you guys are going to want to do from here is go back into Horizon and you should still have this window up. Go ahead and right click on the save game.sav file that you extracted your desktop originally and choose to replace it and choose the file on your desktop that is modded. 
it should say file replace successfully what you guys are going to want to do here is not exit out you're going to want to make sure you hit save rehash and resign and i usually do it two times just to be safe now at this point you guys should pretty much be good if you're using a hard drive with a transfer cable to plug it into your computer then you can just plug your hard drive back into your xbox and you can of course play it right off of that if you're using a usb flash drive then plug it back into your xbox and transfer the game save back over to your xbox of course i'm sure you could load it off your flash drive if you wanted to it's probably just more ideal to bring it back to your hard drive and do it from there but regardless the mod should work and uh, if you guys have any questions concerns or issues feel free to post comments below about them i do reply to everyone as a lot of you have probably noticed in past videos but that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys i will have tutorials for ps3 and pc coming very soon i've already uh, waited a couple days on getting these tutorials out which i do apologize for so i'm going to make sure i have at least one of the ones uh, between ps3 or pc up tomorrow if not both of them look forward to those if you're a pc or ps3 user that's pretty much it for this video though guys if you enjoyed please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for many more borderlands and pre-sequel videos to come thanks for watching everybody and peace out